I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This meeting was brought to the council to order. Roll call, please. Here. Raleigh. Here. Here. Need to perfect and approve the agenda. Some support, motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Raleigh. Aye. Heitmeyer. Aye. Lees. Aye. Crowner. Aye. Motion carried. Consent agenda. Motion to approve is presented. To board. Motion with support. To approve consent agenda items 1 through 12, which are the minutes from a regular city council meeting. On March 7, 2018, approve expenses related to Gifford, Trousel, and Fry's attendance at Southeast Iowa Days. Approve a cigarette permit for Red Yeti Vapor. That's a good new one. <laughs> approve payment in Quad City Analytical Services. Approve payment in Davis Zine Electric for repairs to the sump pump lift station. Uh, approve payment in Southeast Iowa Regional Planning Commission. Approve payment to Francis Pump and Well. Uh, approve payment to Institute of Public Affairs. Uh, approve payment Burlington Municipal Water Works. Uh, approve a payment Des Moines County Regional Waste Commission. Uh, <coughs> approve payment of Municipal Ener Emergency Services. And approve the claims in the amount of $894,222.62. Any discussion? Roll call. Heitmeyer? Aye. Please. Aye. Browner? Aye. Raleigh? Aye. Motion carried. Before we get into staff reports, let me. Uh, got four Boy Scouts here they're doing their uh, civic working towards their civic badge and I did a little presentation to them to, tonight I've uh, been doing this at least for six seven years and you guys want to introduce yourselves and who you are come on honor your first just stand up and say your name loud My name is Connor Connor Thin, right? <laughs> okay. Lord is enough. All right. Oh, well, you're pretty quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> and there you go. Welcome, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I told them they didn't have to sit through the whole thing, but. Uh, it shouldn't be that long of a meeting. If you want to stick around, you can. Uh, if not, you're welcome to leave any time. Um, so anyway, staff reports. Randy? Or Dan, I'm sorry. Uh, talk to uh, Jesse Howe, the Burlington engineer, later on today. I think he's got some things switched around and scheduled and moved around so we won't have that conflict that I emailed you about earlier. Sounds like he's pretty much got that worked out just by rescheduling and moving stuff around. So I, good. that sounds good, and I thanked him for trying, and so that should be good on that project. Anybody have anything for Dan? Randy? Uh, the only thing I want to let you know about is they should have the access roads, temporary access roads completed for trailways and for the church on Broadway. Um, they needed to get those two completed before they could shut down the street. And hopefully tomorrow they'll be shutting down the street on Broadway and, and start breaking concrete and, and pulling that out. So hopefully the weather cooperates and they can get this knocked out pretty quick. Anything for Andy? Chief? Um, last Council meeting, you approved both Parker and Kenneth Peterson to go to an active shooter threat training program in Tama. Um, that was free training, and the hotel room was $69 a night. But anyway, sh make it short, Kenneth Peterson had an emergency come up in his family, and he opted out of there. The only savings we'll have is his meals. Um, the, the hotel room, they were both going to share a room at $69, and the training was free. But I wanted you to know that he had an emergency that he needed to take care of, and he will not make that class. That's all I have. 
think for chief <coughs> fire chief um, on the fire side I was contacted today by MES they're going to be coming down and doing a software upgrade on our air packs uh, it's not anything that puts them out of service it's just an upgrade on the building side um, just so you're aware uh, we've gotten Beckman's cleaned up since Larry passed away uh, Ruth, who used to work with them, has been doing a great job of getting that property cleaned up. They're renting some property out of town, and in order to get that property cleaned up, they're going to have to bring some vehicles into town. They have a company they are contracting with that is going to load the vehicles up and then dispose of them. Uh, so it's just going to be a temporary thing where those vehicles will be there for no longer than a week. Um, I've already discussed with them about that so it's kind of a, a go-between so they're not tearing up somebody else's property when they already have the place here in town and it's a good access location to the highway to remove those um, i also told them i'd like the name of that company in case we need it in future endeavors i also instructed the city attorney to refile on uh, abc pond to file the contempt charges because as of uh, approximately february 11th he should have had the majority of his things done and he has not had those accomplished. Um, we'll be refiling on that one and I asked him for an update on the other property we were dealing with prior to that. Yeah. Anything for Sean? Kelly? He will, I'm sorry, he's, he will still have access from um, the south side of Broadway to get all that crap out of there. That, when, that won't be a lingering excuse for him not to clean up. To the best he'll of my access. knowledge, they're leaving a roadway into Ritter's open. Yep, he'll have that, access through Steve's property to yeah, that's get their a, temporary access. I don't want him to use that as an excuse. Nope, that won't, that won't be an option. Okay. Anything else for Sean? <coughs> Kelly, you got anything going on? Oh, okay. Leslie? Uh, the floor is going to be replaced with our vinyl planking the week first weekend in April. So if a few people go in and out, when it's going to happen on Easter, first weekend in April, the seventh, eighth, or whatever that is weekend. Oh, the seventh, the seventh, at the week after Easter. Huh? And that's the first weekend. <coughs> okay. Or next, next weekend. Seventh, eighth. Right, okay. Like week at, after Easter. Okay. All right. Rod, you got anything going? On? Nothing new, sir. Thanks. Rick. Yeah. All right. Nothing. Grace. No, I'm good. All righty. Well, I got a couple of proclamations that I want to read. And the first one is uh, Junior Achievement Day, whereas the City of West Barring recognizes Junior Achievement of the Heartland's purpose to inspire and prepare young people to succeed in global economy, whereas the City of West Barring will observe Junior Achievement Day on April 5, 2018 as an opportunity to recognize and celebrate Junior Achievement of the Heartland for empowering our young people to own their economic success, whereas Junior Achievement of the Heartland Educational contributions equips our young people to become the next generation of productive employees and self-sufficient citizens to ensure the economic prosperity of West Burlington, whereas Junior Achievement at Heartland includes opportunities for educators, parents, and community volunteers to connect classroom learning to life after graduation, whereas it is fitting for West Burlington to support the goals of Junior Achievement of the Heartland, and we encourage the continuing partnership of business, education, and community in achieving these said goals. Whereas it is fitting for parents, educators, businesses, and other members of the community to join the celebration and effort to ensure the future success and economic health of our young people and the communities in which they live. Now, therefore, I, Hans Strausel, Mayor of West Burlington, do hereby proclaim the official recognition of April 5th, 2018 as Junior Achievement Day in the city of West Burlington. And I believe Kelly and and Katie, Katie or just Katie this just year. Katie this year. Katie is uh, teaching junior achievement up at the elementary school. What is it one day a week mm -hmm. or for six yeah. six sessions? Yeah. And if anybody needs wants to help her, she'd be happy to have help. They've been trying to get me to do it, but I told them I still haven't been out of a factory long enough. <laughs> <laughs> and being inside elementary school. I don't think you ever get out of a factory long enough. <laughs> so, 
The other proclamation is uh, recognizing the 50th year of municipal home rule in Iowa. Whereas home rule is essential to effective and responsive municipal governments in Iowa and provides flexibility to make decisions at a local level where decisions are made closest to the people they impact and can be tailored to fit local conditions, <coughs> needs and concerns in order to better serve taxpayers. Whereas the city of West Burlington supports home rule and the powers it provides to make local decisions that best reflect the residents <coughs> of our community. Whereas the citizens of Iowa approved the adoption of home rule in the Constitution of Iowa on November 5, 1968. Whereas this is the 50th year of municipal <coughs> home rule in Iowa. Whereas home rule continues to be vital to the health and prosperity of all cities in Iowa. Now therefore I, Hans Trousel, Mayor of West Burlington, Iowa do hereby recognize the 50th anniversary of municipal home rule in Iowa and proudly support its continued authority. Okay. Anyone wishing to address the council on matters that are not on the agenda or on the agenda? Steve, you got anything? <laughs> I could. Sure. Hop up that way closer to the mic and I'll sit down. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Um you probably are all wondering why the <laughs> heck is Steve here today? Well, <laughs> um, I'm here to address what I consider to be kind of a very weak start to the project of, of Broadway Street. Now, I do understand and I have watched the progress go, and you don't want it to be a whole lot better if I work someplace else. Because when I'm sitting looking out my window and I see the progress that's being made, it's, it's embarrassing to say the least. Uh, a two-week project, we're three days in, and we've accomplished maybe a half a day's worth of work. Uh, and that's how long they've been there, not because I don't think they're working hard when they're there. That's about how long they've been there. Um, I watched the uh, engineer come down and watch nothing for two hours, waiting for somebody to show up to do something, and then they sawed the road. Uh, and they put the signs up. Uh, by the way, they put them up south of my entrance, saying, road closed which is not necessarily conducive for traffic flowing into my business. Uh, and again, I understand they're probably doing it to, um, to coordinate unloading equipment and this sort of thing, but no more than's being done. Shoot, you can take the things and move them 10 times and, uh, and not really be a big deal. So I, what I came to request was number one, to move the dang signs. Uh, there's no reason they can't be to the north of my entrance that's where they got to stop and when they got to stop traffic altogether mm -hmm. which I assume they're going to put up way more signs tomorrow uh, and maybe they'll move them then but uh, it, it, like I said it, to say they started work on Monday do any of you really feel they started work on Monday well, I think there's um, I don't know when the locates were done Steve and the well, locate guy was there last week the locate guy was there on Monday. They they delivered signs Monday morning, but to say they started uh, work on Monday to address is a real the sign threat. issue. This morning we talked about that, and I, I said they need to be moved to the edge of the new pavement. Thank you, and, and that's, that's all I ask yeah. is that they move the thing there. I understood yesterday when they first put it up, or Monday when they first put them up, then they couldn't turn the semis into uh, uh, the bottling company. <clears throat> Which makes sense, but if they put it to the north of the entrance, at the edge of the new pavement, that wouldn't have been an issue there either. Uh, but like I said, it, it, it's real frustrating to me knowing what's coming. And to be honest with you, when I came and talked to you folks uh, earlier, and I explained about the difficulties of semis getting in there, they haven't even started yet. And we've reconstructed the way we park so that semis can come in and get to us. Uh, they're going to have to get to the uh, uh, recycling center next door as well. Uh, we've made it so that, that, that it can happen. But it's a bigger pain in the rear end than I even thought it was <coughs> going to be. And, I, and it's, it's going to get a lot worse uh, once they tear the street down. So anyhow, what I'm here to ask for is, is, is there some accountability to it's a two-week project. One half week is gone. Does that mean it's only a week and a half project left? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of that was kind of my reaction too. And uh, and I'm assuming the engineer assumed 
they were going to be a little more aggressive when he called me last week and said they're going to start on Monday. Uh, it's a two-week project. We should be, if weather's good, they should be done by, uh, by the 1st of April. Well, that's, I was ecstatic. I thought, that's great. That, that, is, that is as much as I could have ever dreamed of. Uh, now we've had three days. The weather has been good. I don't know if you guys watch the weather like I do. It doesn't look as good for the next seven days. Uh, and that can all change. But the problem is I don't want them targeting to get done by the 15th of April because that means they won't get done until the, till the 25th. Because you know we're going to have bad weather sometimes. And I just want to know, is there any recourse? Is there anything you can do to encourage them to actually work at it? I don't know, Steve, unless somebody stands there with a whip. Well, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. That's, I'm seriously, I'm here asking, is there anything that can be done? I mean, to, to there, there is a deadline to the project, and we, you know, we can assess penalties if it doesn't get done but well and again I, I was in the when they worked on it last summer uh, I was naive enough to think it wasn't going to be a big deal I quickly learned that, that was wrong when I saw how it affected sales which is about 50 percent uh, and a three-week project turned into an eight-week project uh, and at that time I approached uh, Dan and you Hans and said geez can we do something we can't have them have an eight-week project starting now. It, it, it was just destroy us. Uh, we do we do well over a third of our business in the next eight weeks, uh, and that's that doesn't come back. It isn't like somebody's going to come and get what they were going to get in April, uh, in June. That doesn't happen that way. And um, again, I, 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 I I'm just imploring to get something going. It, it, what, what is there something I can do to encourage them to go faster? I'm, I've been trying to be as cooperative as I can. Um, I did come down and ask uh, Dan the, today for some signs to say that how to get to Ritter's from Van Wee Street and how to get to Ritter's on the road close sign, uh, how to get to Ritter's from, or, and obviously I didn't just mean Ritter's, I meant uh, the bottling company and cars and they, to get, let people know when they come to that intersection <clears throat> how do I get to one of these stores that is that is affected? Um, and I think that I think it would be <coughs> less of a hassle with that end being done than what it was last year with the other oh, end. Being I, done. I agree. Um, it's you know it, it will be probably less most of the business is going to come off of agency on the on the Broadway. That's correct, and, and that's why I really think it's real crucial that we get the signs moved to the north well, of my entrance and instead of the south. Um, anyhow, I, I, I sat and did nothing essentially last time, and so I'm being a little more proactive this time to come to you guys and say, hey, do you have my back? Um, losing 50% of my sales in October and, uh, and the last half of September hurt. Losing 10% of my sales in April and May would be devastating. And, well, and one of the things we found out too, after we talked last time, Steve, was that uh, their employees are on layoff, and, <laughs> and I think their actual start date wasn't like supposed to happen till April first, because they, you know, they're seasonal. The construction work is seasonal, so. Well, trust me, I get they, that. My hopefully, they get them in there. I mean, it doesn't take long to tear the street out. It's it's putting the base down, and and I think we're gonna the way it's planned. And tell me if I'm wrong, but they're just gonna pour half at a time instead of doing the full width. No, they'll do full width. Do they full? But they're gonna stop short of the North Drive at the bus at the bus okay. at the bus depot, so that the third phase everybody will still have access. That's the biggest problem with this whole project is trying to make sure all you folks have access. And, and I get that. And I appreciate the way you guys have tried to work around um, so that people can come and go. I don't have a problem with anything you guys have done. I really don't. You guys have been cooperative. You've tried to help. But my employees were on layoff too, Hans, and guess what? They're all back working. 
being on layoff can end as soon as you pick up the phone and say, hey, we're starting up next week. So uh, I, that, to me, you have great weather that we've had for the last week and a half. <clears throat> we've had great weather to work construction. That's why my employees are off layoff. <clears throat> I get that. But by the same token, it's springtime and it rains a lot. And so rain days are not an uncommon thing. And again, like I said, but the I fact agree, that I can look I out my front you, window, Steve, it's just frustrating. There are days even during rain that they can be working. I mean, it, the, and, the key word there we, is could work. Maybe we just need to stay on top of it with the engineer. Well, I mean, that's, and I, that's all I ask <laughs> is if there's something we can do to, to put as much pressure as we could to, to keep the project moving. Dan, is our engineer saying that's just two week job? Is that what Matt said? I didn't ask him that specific question, but. Well, Steve got that well, one somewhere. Yeah. Well, yeah, our, that's who, our, just, our goal was to be done with it by the 14th. That's the, no, that's the number yeah, you gave us. I did. That's, okay. and, 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 that's, I, and again, so and it we're, shouldn't we're be fine. that. Last year we had so much trouble the way I understood with, with utilities and that stuff trying to find out where they were and they weren't marked right and, and that could happen again where all the locates are at you don't yeah, know well, I uh, wouldn't so think it would be uh, that much on this side though. shouldn't be so, so. anyhow uh, I appreciate anything you can do uh, is it like I said he, the frustration of sitting there watching nothing happen uh, and I had to laugh because uh, I talked to Dan is uh, and I told you well, they're unloading a roller that they're going to need for about the fifth thing they do. I'd much rather see them unload a tracker. Within an hour, they unloaded a tracker in front of my store. <laughs> so I thought, well, that's ironic. Uh, but then it sat there, obviously, and didn't do anything. And uh, again, I just reminded Matt because I thought he was going to be here tonight, so I didn't get a chance. So I sent him another email to remind him that he did say that he was going to uh, uh, have Ben talk to both you and Dr. Pepper and figure out where those signs can go. Because that's that's what we ended up doing. Dr. Pepper came in and said, "You got to move the signs." So we moved the signs, and then they moved the signs in his way. So, <laughs> well, and to be honest with you, the, when they first put the first sign up, I thought, "Well, they're moving in. Fine, they'll move in, and then they'll move the signs to the edge of the project." Well, it's been three days, and the signs are still like they're moving in. So, anyhow, I, I hate to be a complainer, and. Uh, I'm not unhappy with anything the council has done. I'm asking for your help. And anything you can do would be greatly appreciated. We will work with it. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Right. Anyone else wishing the best to council? New business. I'm number one is consider payment lien under construction of work completed on the wastewater treatment plan in the amount of six hundred and eighty six thousand. Six hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-three cents. Motion to approve. Support. The motion was support. Any discussion? Roll call. Hey, Leonard. Aye. Steve. Aye. Brown. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Item number two is consider payment Snyder and Associates for engineering services related to the wastewater treatment plant in the amount of nineteen thousand seven hundred ninety-eight dollars and sixty-four cents. Motion to approve. Or the motion was support. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Item number three is consider resolution supporting the July 4 celebration for 2018. So moved. Support. The motion was support. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Motion carried. <coughs> I'm number four is to consider a quote from Dave Bazine Electric to install a new traffic signal at St. Mary's Crosswalk on Mount Pleasant Street in the amount of two thousand five hundred thirty-two dollars. So moved. Support. Motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. Aye. 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 Motion carried. I'm number five is consider a request for proposal related to auditing 
services for fiscal year 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. So moved. Support. Motion to support. Any discussion? You okay and fine with all this, Leslie? Yeah. All right. Last time we did it for a three year proposal, that's where we're going to get court for this time. Yeah. Roll call. Aye. 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 Motion carried. Anybody having old business? Anyone wishing to address the council matters that we did discuss or didn't discuss tonight? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Support. Motion to support. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings adjourned. Thank you. Guys are welcome.